What's going on guys, your boy Terabar Reacts here, and I'm back with some more reactions of Dr. Stone. This is going to be episode 3, and, ah, uh, the great one. <laughs> we got the brains, the bronze, and the muscle now, right? I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to say towards that. That is just, this anime is shaping up to be good so far. Meaning the intelligence behind it, um, a lot of science behind it, and I've looked up some of the stuff that's you know they talk about in this anime so far, and it turned out to be true. It turned out to be very true. So um, I don't know if they're gonna go off that path of staying authentic to actually real science, or are they gonna start making stuff up? There's some stuff that's there too that's um, you know, kind of unrealistic sometime, um, a couple of things that it makes no sense for me to mention it because I'm enjoying this anime so much. I don't want to, you know, talk about the negatives right now. There's a lot of positives that offset all of that stuff, kind of tricking you into thinking that this stuff is real. And we know, well, I've meant Ain't no man can one shot a lion. So let, let's just be let's let's just be awesome about that. Ain't no man punching no lion and 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 one shot in the lion. Okay, no man is doing that. That's why that's why I just off back called him Samson because it's the only person in history in history that we've ever heard of to do something like that to a lion, right? So he's Samson for me okay so when it comes on to the rest of the anime man it's great um so far just learning the characters are we finally going to see him wake the girl up who knows okay so we're gonna jump into this man and just enjoy it for what it is um it's a good start so far i like the pace and i like the time that they're taking to flesh out some of the characters and and um as in you know um, Senku and, and stuff like that where, you know, him being the, the, the head, but he's not the most powerful. You get what I'm saying? He's going to change the world with science and he wants to revive everyone eventually. Um, unlike this dude, this muscle bound dude that he just woke up that has a different ideal. He used to be bullied. You know what I'm saying? He used to be bullied when he was younger. So he basically killed his bully in a way right he killed his bully um defense a defenseless bully you know and i i get his perspective too because he said oh let's just wake up the people who we know are good but how do you know who who the people who are good how do you know that these these um these high schoolers or whatever are going to turn out to be good people change over time and that's why you can't be the the um you know, sole judge, jury, and executioner. You can't be that. You know what I'm saying? You can try to be that, but at the end of the day, I think people should get a chance to change no matter how bad they are now. You get what I'm saying? Because we all deserve second chances, third chances. We all deserve them. You get what I'm saying? I believe that people can be reformed no matter who or what they have done in their past. I do believe that. So, um, yes, sometimes we get mad and bent out of shape because of certain things that happens to us in our past and be like, oh, that person, it, they're just terrible. They should die. They should just be wiped off of the face of the earth. I get that's speaking out of anger, and I get it. I do get people's perspective when they talk about stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but... You got to remember that bad is bad. You know, we, we tend to categorize bad a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We categorize it, but bad is bad. You know what I'm saying? I tend to look at certain things that people think are, are very simple and don't deserve in. Yes, there are things that don't deserve a, you know, a greater pun that, that deserve a greater punishment than some do. I do agree with how you know when it comes on to the justice system and how it's set up not how it operates as in how you know people you know how it's used and how how it's done but 
the setup is 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 good as in you know what i'm saying as in there's tears of there's tears of you know stuff that we done bet um greater punishment than some that are of lesser punishment misdemeanors versus you know what i'm saying grand lars um grand larceny um versus murder versus you get what i'm saying um homicide all that all that stuff so um don't want to read here it's too much this is gone on way too long start talking about other things <laughs> anyways but um let's jump into this reaction man i have a lot to to tell you guys there's stuff that is coming up for the channel that i've been <clears throat> you know doing all week all weekend i've been talking about this stuff um with others on the discord and stuff like that of plans that i have for the channel and how we can make this a um a better experience um, for the channel and for the upcoming things that I want to do on Patreon and stuff like that for you guys. Um, so let's jump into this reaction, man. Dr. Stone episode three. You already know what to do. Link is down in the description. We come back here for the review. Thank you guys for watching as always. And I will see you guys back here for the review. All right, so we got Doctor Stone episode three, and I have to say, man, it's it's um don't know if I agree with the whole guns thing because we all know what guns has meant for us in into in today's living that we're living in today. So many people die by guns, man. Like you know what I'm saying, and to think that. I got to see where they're going with this before I pass judgment. Um, I got to see where they're going with this before I pass judgment because I'm not a huge fan of guns. I'm not I'm not a fan of guns. A lot of people are gun fanatics and stuff like that. They collect them and stuff like that. I have friends that collect guns. Um, so for me, it's more of like I don't own a gun. Um, I don't own a gun. I've shot them before um i'm not saying that i wouldn't use it to protect myself but it's it's just in the sense of as i said i have to see where they go with this before i pass judgment right before i pass judgment because i think it's a bit is it's only episode three and we're already talking guns and i understand that there's a threat that you know crossbows can't Crossbows can't can't touch. Um, what's his name? Sukasa? Is it Sukasa? Whatever, whatever his name is. Um. So, it's interesting the direction that they're going. All already, like, it it it's just so it's just so weird to me. Um, when it comes on to already, there's a conflict. You get what I'm saying? Like, why is the, you know, it just shows you the condition of the human mind is, is so, it's so complicated and simple at the same time, because it's like the same conflicts that they we're having before. It doesn't matter what civilization, it doesn't matter if we, if, if you know, decide to wipe everything off the earth and start over anew, we still have the same problem of people just can't come in together and sharing the same ideal and understanding you get what i'm saying you always gonna have war you always gonna have these things happening because of different views because of different ideologies because of different beliefs you know it's just crazy um how this anime is portraying that because it's just it's, it's just awesome to see um on the other end end you know what i'm saying um if this is the direction that they're planning to go i'm not saying i won't watch the show but i'm gonna have a totally different view of it because i don't think they have to go all the way to guns you get what i'm saying already it's episode three we'll get there but i don't think guns is the answer yet there's so many different weapons of science right 
that were created way before guns that was effective. You get what I'm saying? Um, but I guess that's the only way to stop him. I guess if cross cross if crossbows are not going to stop him, like I guess you gotta find something else to stop him. But uh, um, but we'll see what happens. As I said, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it. Um, still going to react to it, whatever. And then we'll see what happens. So I thought, uh, um, definitely love this episode um, and the way how um, they're doing things right now. Um, as I said, that's the only part of the episode that that I was kind of like, why are we going to guns already? You know what I mean? So that's basically it, man. Um, they've woken up the girl. You see, what is it? Uzihara, 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 you whatever, man. These names, uh, you know, eventually I'll get them. We got Taiju, we got Senku, you know what I mean? So it's, I'm looking forward to more. I'm looking forward to more. So we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for listening as always. And I will see you guys next time for Dr. Stone episode four. Just remember to like and comment under this video and of course you are terror squad i am mr terror by reacts and i will see you guys next time for more dr stone peace